Welcome back, everybody, for another episode of The Scenic Route with uh, me, Cryon Mo, still in my little outfit here. Uh, I did apply some enchantments to this armor. As you can see, it's kind of glowing differently. I didn't enchant the helmet or hat, whatever we want to call that. Um, I enchanted the boots and uh, the chest piece and the leggings, but I don't. I didn't add very much armor. Um, let's check it out really quick. Yeah, I enchanted well. I added protection four and unbreaking three, but it didn't. It didn't raise the armor values any. So I don't. I don't actually know. I don't know how these ratings work or if they're working at all. Um, but anyway, and I added feather falling to the boots, which hopefully hopefully works I don't I don't actually know but anyway uh, so look at this here we finally I know we had a big failure with the, uh, the, the mod here and I don't actually know what's happening now uh, but oh oh my goodness well so she was building stuff and we didn't see and then there was like maybe lag that's pretty rad okay so what I, what I did was um the last worker here I couldn't figure out what was going on and I had some input from one of our community members here to help me out. Pressing some of these buttons doesn't seem to have any actual results. Um, so I was frustrated and uh, I was sitting down here and our last guy that we had that was supposed to be building things, I just whacked him on the head with a sword a couple times in my frustration. And I just want to see what would happen. So he died and disappeared and immediately this block here spawned another villager and it said, hey, your town is now back to max, uh, you know, max whatever population. And it immediately changed uh, uh, one of our existing villagers into uh, a builder. And I gave her the shovel and the axe and she just went right to town with the current build order, which I believe is just the town hall. Like, I think, I think that's all we have. Well, I did press the button over there. Uh, to do a building, which I thought would be the builder's hut, but I don't know. Apparently, she's okay to make the town hall, so she's building. Now, I don't know why the graphics are all weird like this, where she stands way over there and then starts building. Um, but one thing I had to do was I had to dig out this one layer of dirt that was here, and that is why they say in the notes to place this block uh, above one block of air or one block higher than the ground. Uh, because it takes these guys forever to like apparently dig out the dirt. I don't really know why, but I helped out by just clearing this big space and she went to town. She's working right now and I believe this is the, the town hall. Um, I don't imagine why it wouldn't be. Um, look at that. Very cool. So she's doing it. She's got all the uh, stuff that we gave the other guy at some point. And so we'll just, I think the other problem here is that I didn't know if it was if it was going to work or not but it makes sense that it works this way um these chunks here are only active I think when I'm here in this area right so I don't think you know when I go back to our home base over there these chunks are not not active and of course I think the well the workers seem to lock up they, they seem to freeze up and then when I come back over here they don't quite quite pick up where they left off Wow, look at it. Look at it. She is kicking. Mm, she is kicking butt here. Uh, I should have hired her to begin with because I don't know what that other dude was doing, but he certainly wasn't doing this. So anyway, this is pretty cool. I guess I just have to hang out here while this builds up, but uh, you know, I'm crying most, so I don't want to just hang out here. I want to go do other things while this stuff is happening. But anyway, today we have, uh, we got to build something here. Um, I figured out how to do a pretty awesome sorting system with the Botania mod. And uh, in order to do that though, we need 240 item frames, if I remember correctly, for my design, which sounds like a huge number. It is actually a huge number, but uh, to be perfectly honest, it's not gonna take up that much space. And you're gonna see why when we get to it, when we get to it. See, she, at some point she just, camps out over here and I don't know what's happening. Like I don't understand if she's not doing her thing, but I do know their happiness level or whatever it does depend on food. I just, I'm supposed to get messages in the chat about, uh, you know, if they need food or whatever. So hopefully that'll, they'll tell us. But anyway, so we need 240 item frames in order to do this sorting system because we're going to use hopper hawks 
And those flowers, of course, sort based on whatever item frames you put on a chest. So we need, uh, in this array, 240 item frames to start with. <laughs> and that's a lot of leather, which I don't have a leather farm yet. Now we can do some, we can trade zombie flesh with, an, oh, I tore up my bridge. All right, well, the other thing I was gonna do out here was make a boathouse, but we're not gonna do that today. But we're gonna build a cow farm that's going to also generate leather and it's going to generate mana. So we came down here and cleaned up a little bit of stuff here. As you can see, I pulled out all of the uh, sort of water sources we had for the uh, the one mana generation trick we were using, which was just those hydrangeas. So, uh, and I started working on what's going to be our cow farm thing here. This is gonna be the mana pool that will uh, result from the generation down there uh, from the stake uh, that we're gonna pull from this uh, leather farm. And then uh, this this will feed into our, uh, our mana pools here as well. Um, as well as power the, uh, the couple of flowers we need to sort of make this farm uh, work. Um, so I'm gonna go down here. Let's see. First thing is I'm gonna I'm trying to build this backwards from the way the way that I originally built it in the test world, so that we can see, so I can, you know, so I can have the end result be here, and then the farm will have to fit into it. However, I can fit it back that way. I think it'll work right here. So let's throw in. Uh, so we're gonna throw in. A couple of chests here, and hmm, what we're going to do is we're going to use a hopper hawk, obviously, to put what we want into these chests. This may end up being all wrong because you know I'm crying mo and. I might have to do this a couple of times to make sure it's in the right spot. Um, but anyway, I'm going to throw. I'm going to. I'm going to. Let's say we want to throw in our our steak here, okay? So we can drop it into, we want to cook the steak here, and then we want to, so we need to put hoppers in here. So we have to have a hopper to take any steak drops, or beef, raw beef, through the hopper into the furnace. We also need to feed the furnace fuel. So we need to uh, put another chest up there for coal. And then the idea here is we want to bring the cooked steak out of the furnace and then we're going to bring it back here and we need an open crate. So I didn't build one of those yet, I think. Let me see if I can find one here. I'm just sort of using this as a floor surface in here. Um, we're gonna put an open crate here and we're gonna drop those onto this flower here that's going to the gourmet Gorm, Gormialis flower, um, which is the flower that will consume the steak and then feed us mana. Let's throw in uh, the Gormialis, there we go. So this one goes here, and then of course we can drop in our coal, like so. So that way this will all be surface up here. So we can grass this in, like this, and then we could put a little, uh, um, trap door to get down in here if we want. And I guess we should put in some lighting would be nice. Yeah? Yeah, I think so. All right. It's the same farm I use in the vanilla Let's Play world, so I'm just going to put them together and, um, yeah, it'll make it pretty cool. Of course, then we got to bring the cows over here, which that might not be so fun. All right, so I'm doing some things here with some crazy blocks. Yeah, I'm just doing some crazy building. I'm just using some crazy blocks, you know, just to experiment with things because, you know, we haven't really, there's so many new blocks to use in modded that um, I just don't, uh, you know, I, I'm just barely starting to crack into them. And uh, yeah, so this is cherry wood. This is from, um, uh, this is from Biomes of Plenty. And this is the cherry wood uh, lumber or logs. And this is the cherry wood slabs made from the planks. Very nice color. I had brought some blue glass down here because I thought I was gonna build with something else. And then I'm even throwing in some Midori blocks because these are made by, made from the cactus, from Cactus Green, which should never ever go with uh, red and green or just, you know, this is just atrocious colors. Um, but for some reason it's kind of working just because we're surrounded by green out here. And I know, whatever, it's, it's all, this is all experimentation. This is all crying mo 
having fun with colors. All right, so anyway, um, we've got, uh, let's see, we're gonna go out. Um, this is gonna be our slider blocks here. This one we wanna leave open because this is where our water goes. For example, there we go. Grab a couple more of those. Perfect. So now this is where we're gonna put our cows. They're gonna live in here, and then we can, I guess, just roll this all in with leaves. I don't really know why leaves became my my building block here, um, but it is. But we are gonna make a space for us up here to walk on. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Maybe even do this. We don't have to worry about spawning. So right here, we're gonna put in the dreadthorn, which. We'll have to take out and put back in once we have some mana going there um, because uh, it won't know that it's supposed to use that pool until there's mana in there. All right, and here we're gonna put our polydegiac, which will feed, um, it'll feed wheat to our cows here when we drop some wheat on there. Let's see if we can put it over here somewhere. So, oh yeah, that reaches, you can see right there, um, if I can jump up, I can't, but you can see there it reaches that uh, in the upper upper left corner of the screen, upper right corner of the screen, I'm sorry. You can see where the outline covers that hole in the and the leaves there, where, which is where some of our cows will be, and of course the middle one, that means it'll cover all of these. This is gonna be pretty loose and crazy here, I think. It, it, it might just be too much. But you know how it is, you know how the cows go. So let's do this and this and this, and this. Nope. Oh, there we go. All right, let's see. Come on this way, guys. Let's see how many we get. And I don't want them all. That's good, some of them stay down there. Come on. Can you not make it up there? There we go. Come on, guys, fight for it. There you go, okay. Let's see if we can do some pathfinding here. We lost one, there we go, come on. As long as I can get two in each one, we'll be okay. Can you not do that? Ah. Okay, get in there. Go in there, nope, nope. Are you kidding me? Yeah, you go in there. Go, on. no, go in there. Go in there. There you go. All right, that's good. That's good, good. Oh, I guess I could have brought these guys with leads, too. I always forget about the leads. Um, that might have just been easier. Uh-oh. Come on. Push them in. No, don't go in this one. There we go. I didn't put a wall here, which I probably should have done. All right, I got two in each one of these, right? Okay, let's do... Let's do that. Come on, there we go, push him in. Push him in. Come on, you can do it. Go in there. All right, your buddy's in there. There you go, there you go. All right, got them all. So don't breed them yet, I can't breed them yet, gotta remember. Cannot breed them yet. I need to block this water really quick, so throw in some dirt, and that one's already blocked. There we go. All right, so that way we can breed them up here as much as we want, and they'll grow more. Excellent, so we just gotta keep doing this for a while. Okay, so I've been down here, uh, I spent a, a couple hours breeding these guys up. Um, I, it wasn't really a couple hours, but took a couple hour break and bred them up in between. So, I think they're all full grown now. I did some changes here, just a couple changes. Why is that here? Oh, I put some vines on the side just to see what it would look like. And it grew all the way around, anyway. 
Okay, so, um, and I put this little trap, I moved this over, this was our little hatch, so I moved it over one block, um, just to tuck it in a little more. Okay, and um, I did a change back here, because I realized that uh, when I was had all the leaves back here, somehow the baby cows were getting squished out, and so I put solid blocks back here, and also put in a little switch, a little lever here, for for uh, breeding them, just the water goes. Now I haven't opened the water troughs up yet because I was still wanted to breed them up and uh, see what happens. So now what I want to do is this flower is starting to get powered a little bit because I did feed a little bit of, uh, I had to kill a couple cows <laughs> that escaped. And um, so these guys got a little bit of mana in them. Either that or they're taking mana from those pools. I don't actually know. Um, but we'll see here. I don't know what the range is on where flowers can pick up mana from. So what we need to do here is we need to actually let open these up so the water streams will go. All right, so there's, there's those. So now when I run water, right? So now when we want to run water, um, the water will flow down and take our baby cows down there when we breed them up. So what I want to do is try this just real quick so you can see it work. This is the polydegiac or whatever. So if we throw these here, we should see some hearts coming up over here. Maybe they need to be going, huh? Well, I thought it would feed them hearts. I thought it would feed them and we would see like everything else, flew. why aren't, why isn't it feeding them anything? Let's see. Okay, I did test this and did work. I don't quite understand why it's not feeding them anything now. All right, well, okay, this notwithstanding, I'll figure out how this works later. That's not imperative. This was just to help us feed them very easily. But, um, all right, so what we're gonna do is, let's jump in here and pick this stuff up. So what we should see now is when we feed them, we should see baby cows come down into here, which is exactly what we want. So let's do this. There we go. You can hear them. You can hear the baby cows sort of floating down there. I don't know how many cows I have in each one of these cells. Um, it's a few. I don't, I don't know. I tried to keep track and then I lost track and you know how it goes. All right, so, oh, no way. Ah, get in there. Oh yeah, no, no, you guys are supposed to go in there. Stop escaping. Oh, what is happening? Oh man, these little guys can hop out of everything? All right, um, that kind of sucks. I gotta put edges all the way around here. Oh, the water needs to keep running, okay. So we'll keep the water running, that's okay. And now they're suffocating. Who is suffocating? What is happening here? You get in, oh my goodness. Get in your cage. Okay, what is, okay, let's go quick, slow here, all right. So because there's a little bit of water, they're able to jump up. And maybe we need to put a roof. How about that? They're still able to go up, I guess, because, well, they can jump up in the one thing, and that's that's fine. Um, <laughs> all right, there. I guess the leaves will keep a roof. Maybe I need to put glass. Not entirely sure. Um, we don't need that there, it's fine. Okay, so, yeah. Anyway, they're down there. Cool. So the deal is this flower here in the middle of the dreadthorn, that thing right there, uh, when they grow up, it'll kill li It'll kill adult animals. I'll go down here. I have to go down here to my little AFK spot because it's safe down here. <laughs> All right, we'll be back in uh, 15 minutes. Well, for you. One second. All right. That's pretty bizarre. So they dropped a bunch of heads. Wow. But you saw they kind of got eaten, and as soon as they turn into adults, they get uh, killed by this uh, dreadthorn here. And then all of their drops, of course, 
go down here. Now, of course, it's not picking up those, um, it's not picking up the heads. Let me see. Um, because I don't have a chest available for the hopper hawk to put those into. Um, we could make a, we could save these by putting an item frame down there with one of their little heads on. Um, those are kind of interesting. Um, hmm. But anyway, you can see here, uh, our flower here is is eating them because our, our steak is dropping down into here and then uh, they get cooked and then drops here and the flower eats it, generates some mana. Mana goes into our mana spreader and the mana spreader shoots it up here into our mana pool. Now, and then the mana pool here, I mean, we kind of have a, if I could get out of here, that would be great. Um, we kind of have a step here, which is unnecessary. I probably could, you know, well, it is, it is, we do have overflow filling up this thing. And then this mana spreader is taking it from this pool and feeding it into our, our triple spreader here. And that's pretty awesome. Now let's see if this thing will feed these guys at all. Oh, oh, that is what I'm talking about. That's what I like to see. Yes, that is some working, that is some mechanics working for us right there. That's fantastic. All right, so um, we are well on our way to, look at that, well on our way. We need uh, four stacks of leather because we need four stacks of, of um, item frames. <laughs> for this sorting system, which we'll do in the next episode. I'm just gonna mine through here and pick up a bunch of more wheat. See if we can breed up some more. Oh boy. Yes, bring the cows. Bring the cows. All right, we have our own little cattle ranch going now. Ladies and gentlemen, everything works great. And uh, yeah, these things will grow up on their own and they'll just automatically be processed um, no matter where we are. Okay guys, well, that'll about wrap it up because we got a working farm going, some more progress. This is pretty cool. And this space is starting to become a little bit industrial down here. We got a lot of things going on. Oh, there's Zombie Pig Man. How you doing there, buddy? All right guys, well, that's all I got time for today. I hope you enjoyed the little farm build. I know it's very simple and a little strange colors over there. We'll be back in a couple of days with a vanilla series episode and then we'll be back here in Modded to have some more fun and we'll go and check out what our guys are doing in the uh, mine colonies area. All right guys, take care. It's Cry Mo saying, have fun, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.